know, so there's something that I've been struggling with for the longest time, and I just had to make a vlog about it. What is that? You know better than anybody how I'm struggling with going out and painting. Yes, I know. Right? Yeah. It's like, it's like I'm deathly scared. Something has come over me. I, I don't know what. Mm -hmm. I, you know, for those of you that know me, you already know that I'm an artist. And back in the States, I used to make big paintings, you know, three, four feet by three, four feet, large oil paintings that I would uh, send to collectors that wanted big sizes like that. I'm also a pretty decent portrait artist. And my thinking was when we came to Brazil, especially when we got this combi, well, I cannot paint oil anymore because it takes a couple of weeks to dry and we just don't have the space in the combi, right? Yeah. So you and I, we thought, okay, what, what can I do? Okay, the obvious choices were to downsize the pieces that I paint and switch from oil to watercolors or gouache, right? Yes. And so I tested out gouache and I really liked gouache more so than watercolors and you know oftentimes even mixing the two and uh, you know there are artists online like James Gurney and many others that uh, use that process and I fell in love with it and my thought process was wow I'm going to make portraits for people ship them worldwide and that'll be that but then along the way I started looking at the work of many talented plein air artists some of whom are friends of mine right here on Facebook uh, and, and possibly watching our videos on YouTube as well. There are too many to mention, uh, but I love their work and apparently so do many other people. And they're plein air artists. They basically just pick up and go sit outdoors somewhere, uh, spend a few hours painting whatever they see. Uh, you know, and they try to capture the light uh, around them and they come home with, in most cases, a finished painting. And in some cases, they come back to the studio and finish it in the studio. So that's what I've wanted to do, right, Elsie? Mm -hmm. Here in beautiful Brazil. But I'm shit scared. He keeps talking about it, talking about that's it, fun. but never goes. OK, I'm... tomorrow I'm going to go. <laughs> oh, but I need to buy this. Oh, I need this first. And... <laughs> I don't know why. I swear, I, I've done so many uh, shopping for so many little things, you know, brushes here. Oh no, this is not the right set of brushes. I need to buy these type because James Gurney uses them. Oh no, no, I, I got to buy this size of panel because such and such artist uses that. Oh no, wait, I, I got to buy this little contraption and that. Man, I've been doing this for almost a year now, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think I can open up an art store. <laughs> what I need to do is just shut the heck up pack my bag, say goodbye to Elsie in the morning, and go into a location in, uh, in the city that we're at and paint my heart out and yeah. not care about what people are going to think or say. I'm just, I've got like an art, artistic block, an artistic block. <laughs> but I keep telling Elsie, the moment, the day I'm able to overcome it, there'll be no stopping me. Then Elsie's okay. gonna struggle to keep me at home. <laughs> She's gonna, what happened to my husband? When's he coming back home? Where is my husband? Marido, on you will say. On you will say. On you will say stop. Yo nas na centro. Por que? Porque yo pinturo. Porque I'm painting. Estou pintando. Yo pintando. Estou pintando na centro. So. And the light in Brazil is so beautiful, you know, because yeah. the majority of Brazil, uh, in fact, all of Brazil, has the uh, Atlantic coastline. Yeah. So the sun rises on the east. So you get all of Brazil pretty much watches the sun rise, except if you're on the north, because they, that, that side faces the Caribbean side and they don't see the sunrise, I don't think. But the east facing part of Brazil, which is the majority, sees a beautiful sunrise every day. And then when the sun sets on the west, on the Pacific side, well, Brazil doesn't hit the Pacific. So you've got these long, beautiful rays of cascading sunlight. So for any plein air artist, you would understand how beautiful that light is. You see long shadows everywhere you look. 
yeah, you see people walking and you see these amazing long shadows and this brilliant sunlight behind them. It's, it's, a, it's paradise for a plein air painter, right Elsie? Yes. You think I'm a good artist, Elsie? Oh yes. Oh my sure. God, are you sure? Yeah. Hey, grab my arm and twist it. Twist it. <laughs> now tell you me I'm a very to, good artist. You have just to keep doing because okay, right I'll now you're speaking, uh. speaking, speaking, speaking. Man, what's with me? I don't know. What's there with me? There is something holding you back. But right? I, I think, you know what? Go. Like this last video that we made about uh, helping people with Sesta Basicas, right? Where we gave yeah. away Sesta Basicas. Yes. I think it'd be so cool for me to be able to paint. Yeah. Uh, hopefully have uh, people who appreciate my work enough to want to buy it overseas, in the US, Canada, Europe, wherever. And I then ship it to them. And and oops i gotta make a right here guys and ship it to them and then the money raised from uh creating art somehow we can use portions of that to help people yeah. every week every month right See. i mean that for me is the ultimate that would be the ultimate right oh man so here we are in central part of the city in the central part of the city and we've come here to have breakfast because there's a place that makes this amazing couscous and <laughs> we're gonna have black coffee freshly squeezed orange juice which we're gonna share because it's too sweet for and they give you big sizes it's not so good for your health to have that much orange juice so we buy one and we share it that I hope they have that pepper sauce today right that oh, you like they make homemade pepper sauce it's amazing yes. right so that, and then they make this amazing couscous. I'm looking forward to it. There is one there, he says. Okay, good. So here we are. You know what I love about Brazil? Are the sights and sounds. The sights and sounds. So I the mean, chair it, in that place it is, feels is a alive. Spot. Yeah, you want to jump up now? It's like a motorcycle. He says, yeah, he says there is one there. What about the motorcycle? No. There, there is space, Mama. There is no space, Elsie. Unless he moves the motorcycle. I think he will. Just... Mas acho que não cabe. Por causa da moto, acho que não cabe. Yeah, now. That's good, that's good. Obrigado. So you got you got these guys that help you out with parking. Yeah. And then you just tip them, you know, one or two reais when you're leaving. They help you pull in, they help you pull out. And if it's the summertime, December, January, February, they put a piece of cardboard on your windshield so your car stays nice and cool. So here we are in Central. Let's go get some breakfast. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs>